Good morning, everybody. Today, we're doing some more work here for Eric. The generator is leaking oil. So we're going to get in here and try to figure it out. Uh, we may end up having to drop it. Uh, there's a common issue of uh, the lower oil plug leaking. And if it's leaking from there, we'll pull it out, put Teflon tape on it, and seal it. Normally you drain it from down here. Um, but there's also that drain plug on the bottom. And also the... You can't see it on this, but there's a cover that leaks here on this back side. So we're going to have to get in here and figure out where it's leaking. Um, you got some oil residue here, but you have a fan in here that's blowing. And what that does is kind of pick some of that oil up and sling it around. So we may have to clean it up and let it run a little bit. And then really get in there and see where it's leaking. Uh, hopefully it's the easy an easy thing to get to. If not, we'll go ahead and drop the generator down and we'll show you. Uh, how we do that, it's quite simple, so let's get in and uh, we're going to clean this up here first. Okay, before I sprayed any of the degreaser in here on this, first thing i done is unhook the power. And I sprayed the degreaser over everything, let it sit a few minutes, hosed it all off. Then I took my air compressor and blew everything dry, pulled the valve cover off and this hose that was up there uh, it's old and brittle it, it's broke and as you've seen the clamp wouldn't hold but we went and picked up some uh, braided tubing half inch so I can put on there picked up some hose clamps and when I pulled the valve cover off let me set it right there the valve cover has like a breather Plate. It actually goes in here. Um, that is for the basically um, to keep oil from getting into the breather part. But I cleaned that all up. But in here, it had oil all in there. So, which I was wondering about, and I still am. But what we're going to do now is now we have everything clean. Uh, and I'm going to put the cover back on because I wanted to check the valve here. The valve seems to be good, but I'm going to put it back together. I put a little bit of gasket sealer on there. We're going to put it back together, crank it up, and let it run. And then we will check for any oil leaks anywhere. And also I'm going to check for blow-by. Uh, the generator has, you said what, almost 1,922 hours. Yeah, 922 hours, so... There's a possibility the generator has blow-by, and that's what's causing the oil to blow out that. So, let's get this thing here together and uh, see what we can do. Okay, I have it all buttoned back up now. You can tell I've got that new braided hose for the uh, um, vent. Got hose clamps on both sides. Have it on there cover back on, power hooked up. So we're going to crank it up and let it run for a couple minutes and then we're going to check for uh, any oil leaks. Okay, I cranked it up. We let it run for a minute and I shut it off. I'm going to crank it up and I'm going to let you hear it. Um, I'm going to go in and pull the valve cover back off because I'm going to adjust the valves on this and I'll let you hear it and then you'll understand why. If you're dumb, at put it upright. It's got the uh, rock arms are loose. That's that ticking. I'm going to shut it off and readjust them, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, I got the cover off, and I'll show you. The rock arm's too loose. Now to adjust it, it doesn't take much. You use a feeler gauge on it. 
but I mean I just barely gave it a little turn turn it just a hair more I'm talking about I'm just barely going an eighth of a turn and that little bit of eighth of a turn I just did was too much so Off a hair. I gotta go just a hair more. They're fun to adjust. It doesn't. It does not take much of a turn. What I'll do is I'll get my feeler gauge in here, and I'll look in the book and see what the feeler gauge spec is, and I'll set it with the feeler gauge. You know, that's a lot better than what it was. Okay, I bumped the engine over, and this other side, it's like loose as a goose. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to snug it here just a little. Or, yeah, I can't do it two hands, but I'll, uh, I'll snug it up, and I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, I got that one tighter. So I'm going to go get my feeler gauge, I'm going to check it and get it put back together here. And then uh, what we'll do is crank it back up. Okay, I use the feeler gauges on it and set the proper valve lash on there. And it's quieter, it sounds a lot better. We're just going to let it run. That way you let the oil circulate, get hot and everything, and I can check and see where any oil is leaking out. Okay, I felt there's a, the pressure coming out. Very minimal and to me, it was, that's common. So I don't think blow by is an issue. I think you have a possible drain plug that's leaking, or these are bad about the crankcase cover gasket leaking on them. If that's the case, we'll have to drop the generator down, pull it out, and get a, uh, a new crankcase gasket. But when we get a new crankcase gasket, we'll go ahead and put a new valve cover gasket and everything else on it. Like I said, we're checking everything out right now to see what's what. So I'll be back with y'all and let y'all know. Okay, I have to admit, when I make a bonehead move, and I had Eric over here sweating. We ain't got nothing. <laughs> no power. We had no power. <laughs> nothing worked. And then we're messing with the cord. And then I re it dawned on me after I shut it off. I turned the breaker off. There's the generator. Turn the breaker back on. We have power. Simple bonehead move. Eric's over here sweating. <laughs> you broke it, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, how'd you feel, Eric? I was a little worried. <laughs> I thought everything was broke, like permanently broke. <laughs> nope, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. I didn't even know about that switch myself. I did it. I'll show you after I shut it off that switch. It's just a habit when I work on something is to shut power off. That's why when I unhook the 12 volt, I also put the breaker to make sure there was no issue and I forgot the breaker. Okay, we had it running. We run uh, the air conditioner for a little bit under load, got it nice and hot. Then we shut it down and we went to change the oil and the drain plug is a brass plug. There's no place for a gasket for it to seal once you screw it in. That's not a drain plug. That's just a pipe plug. That's not going to work for a drain plug. I mean, it's worked, but it's leaking. So we're going to go and get a drain plug. As far as running wise, it runs a lot quieter, as you heard. The blow by. I really didn't feel any blow by at all from it, so that seems all normal and everything. So we're going to go get another drain plug and put in there and finish with the oil change. 
and on these Onan micro quiet 4000 watts a lot of people are going to say you need to change the filter on them these do not have an oil filter the older style big uh, generators yes they will have it but these little micro quiet 4000 watts they don't have it so let's go get a drain plug okay the threads on this one we got back is dark out the threads on the plug that was in there was non-pipe threads MPT that's not the right thread for that so we got an M14 1.5 drain plug not a just a regular pipe plug so we're what we're going to do is also uh, we've got different gaskets um, Eric kind of wanted a different gasket on this he don't like the nylon gasket so it's got another gasket in here yeah as you can see it's got the little rubber in with it so we're going to put this in and that should take care of the oil leak so um, I'm going to crawl under there and get to it ain't no need of me recording it because you can't see nothing and it's kind of boring watching me thread a bolt in anyway so I told you about the breaker uh, about us not having power and the breaker is right down here behind the wire and you see it right right down in there and I'd flip the breaker if we didn't have power but we let it run a little bit uh, valve cover didn't leak I'll show you we got the drain plug in I'm gonna I'll show that to you and the only other thing we're gonna do is check the plug make sure the plug's snug and everything take a look at it uh, it does seem to run better, so let me show you the drain plug. And there's the new drain plug in, and yes, this has a cover. I gotta screw it back shut. But there's where you drain the oil out on it. That drain plug fits like it's supposed to, and like the other one was just a uh, a plug. It wasn't actually anything to seal anything, but we got a uh, regular drain plug in there now. I should take care of his problem. I think that's where his oil was leaking. And I think what we're going to do is uh, crank it up and let it run a few minutes again and make sure nothing leaks before we button everything up. So, questions or comments, please like and subscribe. <laughs> You've had them moments, haven't you? Yeah. Questions or comments, please like and subscribe. Yeah, give me that big like up. Subscribe. Let's hit that 10,000 mark. And I'll see everybody in the next video.